there, lift ready, American Century. Starting up for cab. Thank you. Is there any other uh, traffic or dredging going on in the harbor? Not at this time. Thank you. Security, 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 Motorola's American Century inbound. The lift here is going to turn around and backing at Crisis Point on cement. Security, security, security. Motorola's American Century inbound. The lift here is Arriving in the Duluth Ship Canal is the American Century. The American Century was built as the Columbia Star in 1981 by the Bay Ship Building Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. <laughs> salute its three long blasts of the horn followed by two short the sentry was saluting the aerial lift bridge and the bridge was saluting on back <laughs> she measures 1,000 feet in length 105 feet in width and 56 feet in depth she is powered by four 3,500 horsepower 20 cylinder General Motors diesel engines which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour she is also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow and stern thrusters to aid in maneuverability in port. The American Sentry has 37 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 78,900 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The American Century is owned and operated by the American Steamship Company of Williamsville, New York. The American Century was bought along with five other Oval Bay Norton ships in 2006 by the American Steamship Company for $120 million. Originally named in honor of the Brig Columbia, the first vessel to move iron ore through the Sioux Locks in 1855, she made her maiden voyage from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin to Silver Bay, Minnesota in May of 1981 to load iron ore pellets. She carried a record cargo of 70,903 tons of western coal through the Sioux Locks in 1997. Only hauling iron ore pellets or western coal, she is one of 13 1,000 foot vessels that currently operate on the Great Lakes. Once again, this was the American Century. She was built in 1981 and measures 1,000 feet in length. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 78,900 tons. 